Hey, this is uh, Adam Hickman from Foxhound Bee Company in downtown Birmingham. We are installing a nucleus hive today, uh, and I wanted to, to walk through the steps of how to install a nucleus hive. Um, uh, step one, we're gonna open up the nucleus hive. Two, uh, we're gonna inspect the frames for the queen and brood and, and larva and all those things. And the third thing is we're gonna transfer those frames over to a permanent hive so they can grow in that, that entire hive. A nucleus hive is, is different than a package, which is how a lot of beekeepers start. Uh, a nucleus hive is gonna have uh, five frames of, uh, of drawn out comb. It's gonna have a queen, eggs, comb, all those really good things. And then a package of bees is just going to be a screen box with, uh, with bees and a queen and no frames, no comb. Uh, so we love nucleus hives, we sell them. Uh, so we're going to uh, just show you how to do it step by step, what to look for, so that when you get your hive at home, uh, it's easier for you to install them. So let me go ahead and show you how to do it. So we have our nucleus hive, we have our uh, space where we're gonna put our bees set up. Now it's really important when you get your nucleus hive, whoever you are picking it up from, uh, they are going to put it in a, a box that seals up, but you should prepare for loose bees when you're transporting them. So if you can transport them in a truck, that makes it a lot easier. But if you need to transport them in a car or an SUV, you can actually get a mesh bag to go around them uh, or just ask the beekeeper to really keep the, uh, the bees uh, off of the outside of the, the nuke. When you are uh, bringing your bees back to the, uh, to the apiary where you're gonna put them, you wanna make sure that you are completely set up and have everything that you need to transfer your bees from your nucleus hive uh, to your permanent hive. So starting with the hive, you're gonna need a bottom board. You're gonna need a deep box with frames uh, that match the same size as the frames in the nucleus hive. If you're wanting to use uh, all medium boxes for your hive, uh, know that most nucleus hives come with deep frames, so you'll probably need at least one deep size box for the frames to go into it. So you need a deep box, a, uh, a frames to go in it, then you need an inner cover, and you need a telescoping cover. Besides those things, you're gonna need to know how to light your smoker. You're gonna need a hive tool. You need a, a feeder. Uh, there's a lot of different types. So you can use an entrance feeder or an internal feeder. You need an entrance reducer, and you're gonna need your protective gear, whether that's gloves and a suit or gloves and a jacket. You need something to protect yourself while you're installing the bees. So we have our permanent hive set up and ready to go. And then we've got our nucleus hive. Uh, we have just opened the front, so we've got our smoker going. And because this is a miniature colony with brood and eggs and, and a queen, uh, they will defend this colony. So that's why I'm suited up and I've got my smoker in my hive pool. So I'm just going to give the front of the colony just a couple of puffs. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, gently open up the top. So now I'm able to transfer over the frames from the temporary nucleus hive to the permanent hive. It sounds complicated to a beginner beekeeper, but it's actually really easy to move the frames over. I've got five frames here, and I've got a gap here that will take those five frames. So in my 10 frame box, all I have is four frames, and that gives me ample room to move the frames over one by one. Now, what's important is as you look through these frames, you wanna make sure that it's a healthy nucleus hive. So that means it's got eggs, larva, and pupa. The eggs look like grains of rice. The, lar or the larva look like little uh, sea looking grubs down in the bottom of the cells. And the pupa are covered over in a capping. So if it has those three things, plus a queen walking around, then that, that is usually a healthy nuke. Uh, so on these frames are gonna be a combination of those, plus some honey, and then probably a little bit of pollen as well. So when I move these frames over one by one, I'm gonna leave them in the exact same order that they were in the nucleus hive. And that helps to keep their, their colony together. It helps them to keep them warm instead of spreading it out. So carefully with my hive tool, I'm gonna loosen up the, the frames and then lift one out very, very slowly, one at a time. And I'm gonna look for all those things that I just mentioned. So this frame here looks looks really great. It is nearly an entire frame of capped brood. So it has pupa under those cells. 
Uh, and that is what you want. That means that in about a week or so, these beads are gonna hatch out and you have a lot more bees. So I'll go ahead and take this, uh, this frame and I'll slide it into the permanent hut. So this frame is different. This frame has very little pupa, but it has a lot of eggs and a lot of larva, which means that in about two to three weeks, we're gonna have a lot more bees because of this frame right here. So everything looks great so far in this, uh, this nucleus hive. So now I've got nine frames in this box with five of them being from the nucleus hive. Uh, the reason that uh, I only had uh, four frames to start with is that it gave me extra room to move these frames in. But now since I've got all of them in there, I'm gonna make room for this last frame right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and slide it in. So if you notice, there's a little bit of extra room in these frames, so I'm gonna use my high tool, and I'm gonna push these frames together. I push those frames together so that any excess space is on the outside of those frames. Uh, that way, uh, the bees aren't going to build any fur comb uh, between the frames. So this hive is set up, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the inner cover and the telescoping cover on it. So what is left in the nucleus hive is a lot of worker bees uh, inside. What can happen is I can, I can take these nucleus, uh, these bees, and I can just dump them inside the hive or, which is probably what I prefer, or I can actually just kind of let them sit here and they'll migrate over to the other colony. Uh, but for the sake of time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump them into the corner and I'm gonna put them, um, dump them into the entrance of the hive, so. So I'll close that up and those bees will get in there. Now, I looked through every single frame and I did not find the queen. Um, if I would have taken a little bit more time, I would have found her, but I know that she's in there because I saw uh, very, very young eggs that look like grains of rice. So it's nice to find the queen, but if you can find proof of the queen in eggs uh, that are one, two, three, four days old, uh, then you know that you have the queen. What is next is going to be adding uh, another box when it's time. So the rule of thumb is that you would add a second box when the previously added box is about 70% or 80% full of drawn comb uh, with eggs, larva, honey, or pollen inside of those. So this nucleus hive probably has about two weeks before I add another box. Uh, but until then, I'm gonna continue feeding them with, uh, with sugar water. So the last thing to do with this nucleus hive is to uh, fill up my sugar water feeder and then put it into the front. So I've got a bucket here of uh, one to one syrup, which is the thin syrup. It's just a mixture of sugar water, or I'm sorry, it's a mixture of sugar and, uh, and water dissolved together. Uh, and that's what the bees are gonna need. When you're feeding your nucleus hive, even if everything is blooming, it's important to uh, it's important to give them plenty of sugar water so that they can build comb, so that they can raise bees, and uh, sugar water just makes that process a lot easier, even if everything is blooming in the environment. So when you're feeding them, don't think about feeding them in cups, think about feeding a brand new uh, nucleus hive in actually gallons of syrup. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and then we're gonna slide it in. Thanks for uh, watching how to install the nuke with Foxhound. You can always visit our website or visit our store. It's at foxhoundbeecompany.com 
or if you're Birmingham, stop by our store and follow us on social media. It's at Foxhound Co. and that's Instagram and Facebook. Thank you again.